Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, March 13th, 2021, week number... 119. 119. <laughs> Got Hope it. everybody's having a fantastic day. Weather's getting a little nicer. It's sunny here in Michigan. Hopefully it's not as windy as it was yesterday. Yeah, we've lost some siding recently even. Yeah. <laughs> Stace was up on the roof last week. <laughs> <laughs> Wind was uh, 38 miles an hour yesterday, so let's not have a repeat of that today. No. Well, not been my best week. Um, definitely have not been sleeping. I didn't sleep a minute last night as well. Um, I laid out here. I laid in bed. I tossed and turned, and I got out of bed. But I didn't get a minute of sleep. And a couple of the other nights of this week were the same. So it's been a rough week. Yeah, I've got a really bad sciatica stabbing back going on for the last three or four days and it's pretty much made me yelp even when I'm home alone it just it puts me to my knees I've tried to stay active I've tried to stay busy I've definitely stayed on my keto um, my numbers are gonna reflect that even mm -hmm. so last week I was 334.8 and this morning I was 334 even. So I am down 0.8 today. Yeah, good So this job. is like the second or third week, right? Yeah. Of going down. So I'll take those numbers, especially given the week I've had. Absolutely. Uh, physically. And um, yeah, we never did get to that treat of making like uh, any kind of a recipe or anything. It's just been too crazy. stacy has been so busy with work and I've given her a few ideas and just hasn't happened. Uh, we were very fortunate to have someone send us a little treat from uh, Amazon. It came to the doorstep, and I'm like, what's this? I swear I didn't order anything, <laughs> and I didn't. And it, it was some uh, little Lily's bars. So we enjoyed uh, breaking and sharing one of those a couple of days ago. Yeah. And I appreciate that so much. That was off of our um, Amazon wish list yes. from uh, Bonsai Keto. And, uh, yeah, it was a really nice little treat to sit down that night and just enjoyed that a little bit. Um, I would say overall things are going good. Just just busy and, and a little bit of pain and have not slept. <laughs> so Gotta get you sleeping. I know. I'm trying. Stace was kicking my back with her heels because her <laughs> hands couldn't do it, but her she could do it with her feet. So she was kind of <laughs> doing that on my lower back and it helps. I appreciate okay. I appreciate it, it all. It really wasn't kicking him. I was just using my no, feet. No, just to, kneading, like, kneading knead, the back. Yeah. Tried Biofreeze, tried Aspercream, <laughs> strong pain pills, Vicodin, Tylenol, the, Ibuprofen. Uh, pain it's not time. Helping. Pain time? Yeah, that cr other cream. Yeah, I there's tried another that cream too. that um, my stepdad uh, had recommended. Recommended and, and bought for us. And he's like, try this because it works really well for him. I think yeah, just the pain was too deep for I you. I think, yeah, even Viking is even touching this at the moment. So I don't think it's the fault of any of the things I've tried and taken. But right. I just got to get through whatever it is here that's going on. Must relax or Vicodin, things I don't like to take, but I've actually taken them this week. Yeah. So, and uh, and I need rest. I need sleep. I'm, I'm a zombie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a zombie. All right, Stace, where are you at? So last week I weighed in at 141.4, and this morning I weighed in at 141.4, so even Steven. Um, consistent. Consistent. My hands are still hurting. They're still like the little sausages. Do you think it's um, our weather changing? Because, I mean, we went from super cold to like 59 degrees, you know. You know, I possibly, know. I don't know. The hot flashes have been better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, That's good. Yeah, that's it. They've been better for sure, which is nice. Um, I go to the doctor on Tuesday, so we'll see. I get my annual checkup and physical and blood work and all that other fun stuff. So uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'm I'm pretty sure though. It's uh, I think perimenopause is what they they said. So just before you get full blown menopause, where it's happening every day, there's been some other body changes, and I'm not loving it. No. <laughs> I'm not although yesterday I was chilled and I couldn't get warm all day it started yesterday morning I laid back down after I got Julia off to school and I was freezing cold and of course as soon as I get into bed my honey rolls over and spoons me and 
covers me with his legs and you know to get me warm and i just i still couldn't even get warm with him helping me yeah. and then of course it was so biting cold yesterday with that wind all day couldn't get warm all night it couldn't get warm sitting here with my fleece on and my blanket on and um nose was cold like a puppy dog and hands were freezing feet were freezing and feels like it's not hot in here I'm like i know and i know it's just the opposite of the hot flashes right now <laughs> so yeah ah. well i've got a lot of things on my to-do list but i've been pretty much chair bound here the last couple days so i'm trying to get digital things done like projects on the computer mm -hmm. and i'm um, redoing some websites and I have to change over to a different format and software that I was using way back and I have to convert all those things manually by hand and that's just taking a long time yeah so I'll be doing that for a while because I have over 20 websites to reformat and redo so one at a time right one at a time one at a time and um, I was gonna sing but no. I'm a horrible singer that one day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> yeah. Just showing our age because some of these kids on here will be like, what, I have no what idea are you talking what that about? Is. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So, so that's our update for this week. Um, it's not bad. It's, 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 you know, just some weeks are better than other weeks. Last yeah. week was kick butt. Yeah, you were, I think, 2.2 pounds last week. Yeah, and I was very active, and I was killing my step goals and stuff, and now it's been a struggle. I've been sh just shy yeah. on my step goals. But what I tried to do is I kind of tried to tame back on w w the windows of eating and then obviously how much I was eating portion-wise because I didn't feel like I was burning that energy in a right. sense. So, so I was just trying to take it really easy for – you know, the other things to keep it all right. in line. And I'm glad I didn't go up this week. So I'm glad you didn't I'll go take, up this week too. I'll take that. I did not check my sugar. There's no use in checking my sugar right now. Nope. It's horrible. It's between the stress, the pain, and not sleeping. I would just make myself more upset to check my sugar this morning. So I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm drinking water, trying to rest. I laid there all night. You know, I, got, I wear a CPAP, I laid there with my CPAP on, tossed, turned, looked at Stacy at about 8 o'clock, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm not sleeping tonight. Every time I move or shift, I get electric shock up and down my leg and back and break out in like a little bit of a sweat, and, and it's just the pain of that sciatica acting up. Hmm. So, and I even came out to the couch and reclined in the couch and um, took a Vicodin at 2.30 in the morning. And then I went back and tried to lay back down in bed. And 8 o'clock, I just said, well, I guess I'm not sleeping. Yeah. I wonder if a chiropractor would help you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We could check it out one day. You'd try it? I'd try I'm it. I'm super excited. Totally off topic. They have new hearing aids coming out in the what? next... <laughs> Be funny, boy. Yeah, I'm going to get she you wants a to hearing me, test. I know. <laughs> she wants me to go in and get a hearing test, too. Yeah, so they've got uh, new hearing aids coming out, and uh, I love my hearing aids that I have right now, and I'm super excited. Some uh, new technologies are coming Yeah, so there's some so, newer technologies. and couple weeks. Uh, The ones I have now are made for my iPhone, so I still answer with the iPhone um, like you, like you would normally answer the phone. Bluetooth. Yeah. Um, right. But apparently with the new ones, you just click a button. Your phone doesn't have to be in your hand. It could still be in your pocket. You click your button to answer the phone and then you have a conversation. Interesting. It should be even people. When I have a conversation now and I'm chatting with Bill, like at the store and I'm going, honey, they don't have it. And I have the phone in my hand, but they don't realize they're not hearing the other end of the conversation it. and I'm not holding it up. Um, I'm just chatting and they're kind of <laughs> like, "Did I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I was like, oh no, I was talking to my husband on the phone. Yeah. And they kind of look at me like I have four heads, but that's okay. I do. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. And and the great thing about Costco is they offer you very generous insurance benefits. So 
probably wouldn't cost much of anything out of pocket, I'm no, guessing. No, no. And um, yeah, every four years. Every four years. I wondered how that worked. It's kind of like glasses. You can go get a new pair of glasses, but you know, heck, check it out. Yeah. Every four years, I can get new hearing aids and that's so huge. exciting. Huge for uh, somebody who can't hear, you yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't have the money for those things. I mean, I remember that first pair we bought you. Gosh, many years back, that was close to six grand. Yeah. That and when I first started, I only wore crazy. one because we could only afford right. one. And I was like, well, the one I'll have to do because I just put it in my worst ear, the one where I've got the profound deafness. And um, yeah. and they were saying, we don't recommend this. And we're like, well, we don't have the money for it. So what do you want us to do? Right. <laughs> and let's see if it helps you. And right. it did. And, and it, it did. And it did. So. But when I went to two hearing aids, it was like, whoa. Very different. Very different. So I'm I'm excited. Stacey's always had balance issues, but she's always had hearing issues. Right. And uh, when you don't balance out your hearing and you are off, it makes it even worse. We don't go downstairs without me being in front, put it that way. <laughs> when we go down, he's in front. When we go up, he's in back. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> always have to be that way. Yes. If you fall, I'm going to be there. Either way, Aww. behind you or in front of you. <laughs> and there are times that she almost pushes me down, let me tell you. It's true. Don't do it on purpose. but Yeah, you did it the other day almost. <laughs> I, I was just having a really off, off day. Off day. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Aww. I'll be your potato. I'd say rock, but I feel like a potato lately. <laughs> I don't know. Just tired. You're still my rock. I'll be your rock. Okay. You smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> no? I don't know. I don't even feel like cooking lately, to be honest with you. Just uh, don't even feel like standing on my feet. Nope. Yesterday I made microwave eggs because I was just too lazy to stand in front of the stove and make everything because I was so getting stabbed. So I just mixed some eggs up, put them in the microwave two minutes later, pulled them <laughs> out, sat down. And they were they were really decent. Decent eggs. Sounds so gross, but... <laughs> it does I, sound I, gross. I've lived 50-some years of my life, and I've never seen anybody make an egg in a microwave, and I'm doing it now. Yeah. Probably going to do it today, too. <laughs> Just don't feel like cooking. I'm going to head off to work. Yes, yeah, it's going to head off, and uh, I'm going to try and dig into some of this online things that I have to get done. Maybe right. start one of the first movements of websites. I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll find something to Netflix watch or something for a little bit. Yeah. And then I'll get into it. There you go. I don't know. I had to put some biofreeze on my back. See, that helps too. I'm, just, I'm sitting here right now and I don't want to move because I don't want to get stabbed. Uh, but I and I don't want to do that on, tape, on, on video and <laughs> be like, Arr! like a dog. Arr! I'm hurt. Yelping. Yeah. But hey, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us, and I hope your journey is going well. And, uh, you know, overall, you know, pain is temporary. Mm -hmm. Get through this. I am happy to be down this week, so. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be grateful for that. I'll get my medicines in me, and I'll try and rest. That's I don't all know. I can do. Uh, somewhere, and it, they're buried in the cabinets because I really never mess with them. Maybe I'll break down and take a sleeping pill tonight. Like Good idea. 8 o'clock or something. And then that way by 10 p.m. I'm knocked out. Because those do plan. work. They work. They work. It's a plan. You hear it. No, they work. I just don't like taking that stuff because I'll sleep like 11 hours or something. But just, my body needs it. Your probably. body needs it. Maybe my back would feel better even if yes. I got some sleep. You can relax a little bit. and. Yeah. So so I'll, I'll dig those out some point today. <laughs> they'll probably expire, but they'll probably still work too. If I'm not here next week, you know. <laughs> Say that. All right, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, is that what you were doing to beat my arm up? Like, no. I'm your puppet. You might. Well, you are my. You are my, puppet. my little puppet. Just go like Pull this. my strings. <laughs> all right. See well, you later. We'll see y'all. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.